Okay, so I just filmed this video a minute ago with my tripod, but I didn't like how it looked, so... This is how to, uh, hook up the Elgato Game Capture to a non-HD TV. Now, a few side notes before I do this. Um, the main reason I did this is because when you hook up an old system, like, you know, the Xbox, Turbo, anything like that, to a HD TV, it does not look good on the TV itself through the HDMI cable it looks really uh edgy it doesn't you know it's playable but it kind of hurts the eyes um and also i guess you could use this method if you don't have an hd tv but you want to record older games the reason i say older is because you could do this with an xbox if you use the um composite cables or the playstation if you use the composite cables but it won't be hd and i don't know if you don't want to record in hd you know, if you don't really care, that's, you know, up to you. Like I said, it could be done. This is mostly for older people, or not older people, but people with older consoles who want to do it on a non-HD TV like me. So, you know, normally, uh, if you've done your research at all, if you haven't, that's fine. But normally you would connect uh, right here, red, uh, red and white, with red and white for the audio, and then yellow into red here. And then you would go into settings here on your laptop or computer and you choose composite. You choose other and then it'll be composite. It'll tell you how to do it. Um, so that's just some advice in case you don't know that. But this is how you basically do it. And it's really simple. A lot of people like, I, I went online and checked this before I even bought it. Um, and I was thinking, oh, well, I'm going to have to get an HGTV or monitor for my room up here to do this. But... No, I kind of had this idea because of something I saw on YouTube, where this guy had two TVs hooked up to one uh, thing, and then I realized, because I bought these a uh, few weeks earlier, when I was recording through my old camera, splitters. It's kind of like a, yeah, duh, thing, but I can't believe I didn't think of it earlier. You just plug in the splitters, if I can do this one-handed, there. Uh, one here to red. No, oh, that didn't work. This is why I like using the tripod, but like I said, when I recorded it with the tripod, it my video came out looking bad. So most of my videos are on tripod. I'm just going to put that out there because I hate shaky cam videos. And yes, I did that on purpose. I'm sorry. Um next thing you're going to need is an extra composite cable like I have here. It's hooked up to that channel switcher, which I don't even think is on the right channel. So I don't have to, uh, let me turn down the volume because I don't want any audio. So, you know, it's just easier that way for me so I don't have to reach behind the TV. But you get this, and then, you know, you just go color matching. I believe that one's red. So, look this if I can do it one-handed that would be amazing but it is very difficult and I apologize again like I said I usually will use a tripod I don't like it when people do things like this on YouTube personally I really don't but this is just the only way it's going to work out for me right now it you should have, I, I didn't want to upload the other video. I was like thinking about it. I was like content with it for a minute. And I was like, you know what? That video looked really bad. Anyways, you plug all those in. Then you go in with the the console cables, which I'm using the 3DO for my example. Yeah. Uh, so red with red. And you know what? I'm going to just do this because I don't want to spend more time here. And my battery is dying. So white with white and yellow with yellow and power and as you can see here we already got the image here for a second go don't you just love loading times there you go and there you go. 
so give it a second to finish loading and yeah so basically like I said you just use the splitters a lot of people complain that the splitting signal will lower the video quality and it's kind of true but at the same time it's so minimal you're not gonna notice now if you're looking at this on the TV I don't know if you can tell probably because it's on camera but for me it's a little dark but here it's the right color and that's not actually because of the splitter that's because of the settings on here um, so just in case you know you do this and you're like why is the video so dark you can fix it but you want to go what's off on the screen here that's being recorded I think actually I don't remember yeah I think it's from here because whatever you see here is what's gonna be recorded so if you turn the brightness up here and it looks better for you but it looks really bright on here and you're gonna to want to turn the brightness down because it's not gonna look as good but anyways that's my advice as you can see no HDMI cable plugged in that's in, not even an HDTV so it wouldn't be possible and uh, there's no delay in this you know uh, I can't really show you but there is no delay and yeah so that's pretty much the way to connect Elgato game HD to an HD TV um, to a non HD TV so I hope this helps somebody out it is kind of a mess of wires here when you do it but hey it works the splitters cost four dollars uh, if you're like planning on doing old videos and you want to get one of these but you don't want to get an HD TV right away or you're like me and you want to do it in a different room and you don't have an HDTV in that room and you don't want to bring one just do it like this and the quality looks great I can't tell you how bad the quality looked like I would show you but I don't I don't want to edit this into two parts so anyways I hope you enjoyed this hope this helps somebody out comment if you have any questions and yeah alright then bye